Richard Southern is back with us to chat about some of the day's most interesting stories. And there's one word, only one word to describe this uh, first one, Richard, and that is terrifying. Yeah, terrifying, Eric. It's right out of a dystopian nightmare. Uh, it's a video uh, showing a robotic dog firing a machine gun. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah you... uh, this is out of Russia, apparently, Erica. Look at this thing go. Oh, my goodness. Uh, the dog looks the same as one made by uh, Boston Dynamics, but it's apparently a knockoff robot dog. Somebody has had the bright idea to attach an AK-47 to it. The, the dog doesn't handle the recoil very well. It goes back on its robotic hind legs. Yeah. One Twitter user chimed in, Erica, saying, quote, I'm all for gun control, but if they start deploying robot dogs with assault rifles, we need to start arming ourselves. Um, you got to start maybe getting your dog Luna to start packing heat or something now. <laughs> I don't to... know if she'd be able to go up against a robot dog. But this kind of reminds me, I mean, I don't know, there's a Netflix show called Black Mirror, and there was mm. an entire episode dedicated to this person trying to outrun a robotic dog that was chasing, it's kind of a sort of dystopian technology uh, story, right? I love how Hollywood came up with an idea they thought was so far out it could never happen, and here we are. Yeah, crazy. Great. Okay. Great. Uh, off to space now. NASA's Mars rover has stumbled upon a mysterious object on the surface of the red planet. For this, like the second time in two months, I want to show you the picture they they took. Uh, the rover took uh, about a week ago. It's a mysterious ball of what looks to be string in the sand mm. of the red planet. Yeah, yeah look at that. Uh, some people said it kind of looked like spaghetti. Uh, NASA says they believe the object is string left over from the rover's landing on February 18th of 2021. Even though the rover is nowhere near that spot, NASA thinks it blew to this particular location. Uh, interestingly enough, the rover drove away from this for a bit and then came back to the spot in the ball of string was no longer there. Wow. This is not the first time the rover has stumbled upon, upon something interesting. Uh, in June, it found a shiny piece of foil, which uh, NASA believes was also from the landing. So goes to show, Erica, humans are very, very good at littering no matter where we go, <laughs> oh, right? Goodness. Yeah, I guess so. It's <laughs> a lot of space litter out there. Okay, and mm -hmm. finally, a sport that was originally inspired by Harry Potter is trying to distance itself from the author who created that entire series. You know, the, the Quidditch, or what was it called? Quidditch. Where they go on the brooms and Quidditch, and yep. they fly around in the books yep. uh, they actually created like a real life version of this and there's two big leagues in the world but they're changing their name from quidditch to uh quad ball quad ball is the new name and the two governing bodies of the sport say they're doing this for two reasons first and foremost to distance themselves from harry potter author jk rowling who has espoused some anti-transgender uh beliefs uh the sport says they are very uh much inclusive they have you have to have the you know, um, uh, four players of, of each gender on the field, apparently. The other reason was they didn't actually own the Quidditch trademark that belonged to J.K. Rowling. Right. So uh, 600 teams playing this real-life game that was inspired by the books. It uh, yeah, it's interesting to see how they've adapted it because you're supposed to be on, like, these flying brooms for Quidditch, but it looks really <laughs> cool. It gets a lot of exercise, too. Okay, Richard, you're off for the next week and a bit on vacation, so we want to say, of course, enjoy your time away, and we'll talk to you again in early August. Look forward to it. Be back soon. All Thanks, right, Erica. See you then.